FX35 has two different options for drill control. You've got lift master and pack master. To enable them in the monitor, simply touch the wrench in the bottom left corner on your tree, touch implement, touch cedar, touch on drill control. You've got lift master, you've got pack master. Touch on lift master, you can have it enabled. Lift master will raise and lower your drill when it gets to areas of your field that have been seeded already when it gets to headlands, or if you're using the headland manager to seed your headlands last, it'll lift when it gets to that part of the field that you want to seed last using that simulated headland boundary. Packmaster is an additional feature that can be added to the X35, which controls the packing pressure of your drill. So if I touch on Packmaster control and enable that, hit the checkbox. Once I have it properly set up in the monitor, it uses the draft force between the shank and the packer wheel to create constant packing force on the ground. If there's less draft, the shank pulls lighter, which would increase the packing. Packmaster drops the packing pressure off on the wheel so that it maintains that consistent pack across the field. If I get into a hard pan in the field where there's increased draft pressure and it takes pressure off the wheel, it simply tells the hydraulic system to increase pressure so that it maintains that same pack. Also in the settings, there's what they call a quick start. So if I touch on system, features, and guidance, there's a job helper mode right here and it's set to quick start. If I touch that, I can disable it. Job assistant will give me on-screen information about what I'm seeing and quick start allows me to set up functions in the monitor that will automatically function as I go across the field. If I have it enabled I'll have a quick start icon. If I touch on that, some of the options are you can have it automatically export a job report from a previous job, change fields, record boundaries automatically, change jobs, configure job regions, load VRC maps if I am using VRC, set the guidance mode, change guidelines or auto hide on success. If you want to use this, there's a detailed uh, PDF on our website that goes through each setting and how to set it up. With the X35 and the new software, I no longer have to be within GPS RTK limits in order to be able to export my jobs. If I go into the inventory manager, which is this little garbage can, pencil and USB button on the left hand side, touch it, it brings up the inventory manager. So if I touch on categories, I can select jobs, hit my checkbox, it's going to bring me up all the jobs that are in the monitor. If I want to export these jobs, I can either touch and highlight it, or if there's multiple jobs, I can touch on this button here, and that button highlights everything that I have. Having a USB stick plugged into the monitor, I can now press this icon here, the little USB with the arrow, and when it exports it, you can have it create a job report, export jobs, and you just simply highlight the ones you want. Now when I hit the checkbox, it's going to go through and it's automatically going to create those files when it exports that USB drive. And you can do this from anywhere without GPS signal now with the X35. You also have the job report options that you can set. It'll have auto adjust the ranges, so if you did VR, it automatically adjusts those ranges so you don't have the same blanket color across. You can have a create a shape file, so if you want to use these shape files for something else. There's also a task data button, but you won't need to export that. So if I create shape file, hit my checkbox, then it does your export onto the USB drive that we had in. Now I can eject it by swiping up in the bottom pressing the eject button, it's now safe to remove that USB drive. The X35 also has a feature called Tank Optimizer. The Tank Optimizer allows you to be able to put your products into the optimizer and it will tell you the best configuration for your tank to get the most amount of acres per fill, whether that's connecting tanks using the interconnect doors or which tank to put products in. To get to the Tank Optimizer, if you touch the little wrench and sprocket, it opens up the configuration window. Now if I touch on multi-tank calibration, it brings up the calibration method. So I can touch on tank optimizer. When I touch on tank optimizer, it's going to bring up a wizard. 
I can enter the product that I plan to seed, the rate that I would like to seed it at. I have multiple options to assign it to. I can pick a tank to assign it to a specific tank if it's already in that tank. I can assign it to run in multiple meters so I can have it in multiple tanks with multiple meters running at the same time. Or I can select to have it go to any single meter and it'll just select the best tank configuration possible. So if I select any single meter, I can also choose to split the rate if I'm using the multiple meters. If I want to add another product, so my second product here I have is wheat, 100 acres, I want it in tank 2. I can add more products by touching the plus button. So under product, if I hit pre please select, it's going to bring up the products list saved in the X35. So if I select 4600, I'm going to do a rate of 125 pounds to the acre. I want to run it for multiple meters and I'm going to select to split the rate. If these are the three products I'm going to use and I'm not using any other products, I can now press the arrow in the bottom right corner of the wizard. It takes me to step two. It gives me the best configuration to get the most acres per fill out of my tank. You can see the red icon or the red numbers. That's going to be your limiting factor in this configuration. So right now it has tank one by itself with 1251. It's got the flex tank, tank 2 and tank 3 combined for wheat, and tank 4 is 4600. I have multiple options. I can use this little arrow at the bottom to see if there's another configuration for the way I already have my tank set that works better. I press that. It changed my limiting factor, which actually lowers it. The first one that comes up is always going to be your best option. So I still have my 1251 in tank 1. Tank 2 is now combined with the flex and tank 3 is now combined with tank 4. I can press the arrow again and it'll give me another option. And depending on the type of product is going to give you more options. This option actually includes tank 5 now. But now I'm down to 75.5 acres because I'm combining the flex with tank 1 which gives me more acres for my 1251 but many less acres for my wheat. So you may want to do that if you've already got your tank configured in one way or another to save you some time. But if you're going to be seeding a lot of product, you'd probably want to go through and configure to your best split, which is going to be the first grouping that came up. Once you've got it optimized, when you hit the checkbox, it's going to automatically take and combine flex two and three in the monitor. It's going to put 1251 in tank one. It's going to put wheat in tank two and it's going to put 4600 in tank 4. So you can see here I've got those options. When I touch this checkbox and I ask it to apply the configuration, if I hit this to close the calibration method, it's now closed tank 3 because tank 2 or tank 3 is now combined with tank 2. So I've got the capacities combined and you can see that I've got my 1251, the wheat in tank 2 and 4600 and tank 5 in that configuration wasn't used. If I choose to fill it with product, I can expand, select the product, and enter my weight from there.